Here's a quick look at a complete power management and control system made by S-Pod. It's called the Bantam. This one has the HD touch panel and is installed currently inside of a 2017 Chevy Colorado. Our first look inside the box, we have our S-Pod Bantam with 84 inch battery leads and an HD smart panel. And here's the contents of the box spread out. This is the Bantam with HD smart panel with the 84 inch battery leads. So you can see that we've got the Bantam itself with the battery leads pre-attached. We have an ethernet cable to run between the Bantam through the firewall to the HD smart panel. Then we have the smart panel itself, some instructions, about two sets of legends with clear words so the light goes through it. Uh, you can see them at night, they light up. Uh, the mounting hardware includes some zip ties, bolts, a little swivel base for the HD smart panel to mount to. And here's what S-Pod calls their HD smart panel. It's got eight physical buttons, three LEDs above each button to indicate different statuses and backlights. It takes two bolts to mount it and one ethernet cable in the middle. The outside shell is made out of a textured black aluminum, which makes for a very clean and very sturdy feeling product. S-Pod included over 144 different legends. They use different paper, so they don't quite match, but they work pretty well and they, uh, they look to be high quality. One thumb screw removes the outer housing, exposing the fuses, dip switches, and connection points needed to install this S-Pod. One of the major improvements of the S-Pod Bantam is that it has eight individual inputs for controlling your outputs, in addition to its subcompact size. One of the ways that you could take advantage of this new feature is running, let's say, a wire from your backup lights or from your door lights to an input to trigger additional lights, such as the lights in the back of your vehicle. The red jumper affects whether the unit uses a positive or a negative switch trigger for the input. So on this side of the S-Pod, we have switches one through four. Each switch is designated with a positive and a negative. Each switch is also capable of handling up to 30 amps each. And here's the other side that shows switches five, six, seven, and eight, two wires each again, and as well as 30 amps a piece. And between the power leads, we have dip switches that are used for anything between switching the unit from 12 to 24 operating volts, pairing Bluetooth, debugging, switching into slave and master modes for connecting multiple S-Pod units together. Under the hood, I used the fuse box lid to bolt down a custom housing that I designed along with the S-Pod. You could mount this directly to the lid of the fuse holder, but the box that I mounted the Bantam S-Pod on top of is used for additional wires and additional relays that I have for other projects. Here it is with the cover off of it. You can see that it's actually a pretty clean setup. I have a few extra wires to tighten up. The controller's backlight can be dimmed and the color can change. So you can turn it up. You can change it from red to blue or blue to green or any color in between. One of the really cool features of this setup is the ability to control it using your phone or an iPad through Bluetooth. Once you connect it, it gives you additional options like being able to turn the switches on, off, dim it, see temperature, see your battery voltage, and all these other functionalities. So here you can see I've got Source 1, the primary S-Pod, and I've actually renamed a couple of the switches. The little bar graph shows amps. Here's uh, one of the settings where you can change the background color of the HD touch panel and you can tell it uh, how long until it falls asleep and you can also select different sources when you connect multiples together. So you can have eight, 16, uh, et cetera, number of switches. 
Uh, here's what it looks like when you're going to actually adjust or change one of the switches, uh, make it easier to identify. So here's switch three where you can actually enter different text. You can select an icon from a database of icons that they have inside the app. You can use an image from your, you know, your phone library. You can make it dimmable, flash, strobe, momentary, change the color of the switch, make it easy to identify. And uh, you can really make it custom for the, your vehicle so that way uh, you can control it from outside your vehicle using the app and you can control it from inside the vehicle using the touchscreen or through the switch panel uh, like I have included in this one. If you liked the video and want to see it installed inside of a Chevy Colorado, please subscribe to my channel and like my video and I'll see you around.